Welcome to Jets Talk. My name's Ryan. I'll be your pilot. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Boys and girls, the New York Jets played a game last night against the Cleveland Browns. First game since the end of last year. Kai Becton played a game, first game since two years ago, basically 700 days since the big ticket took the field with the New York Jets. So we got to see him in action and, uh, you know, baby steps, I think, is what uh, I sort of take away from this. It was good to see Becton out there in the snaps that he was playing. I'll let it play in the, in the little frame up here. Not too bad. I will take what we got from the plays we got from Akai Becton. And it's important to remember this is still the very first exhibition game. There's not a whole lot. Uh, to take away in terms of like starting reps or anything like that, none of the starters basically played, except for maybe like a handful of guys that are competing for for spots. The guy that Makai Becton was going up against, number 58 that you'll see in this clip, he is Isaiah Thomas. He is a seventh round pick from the 2022 draft, I believe. 21? 22 draft. Uh, so I guess context Keep that in mind when you're looking at the number 11 overall pick from the 2020 draft. I don't know. But Makai Becton last night played seven snaps on offense, four snaps on special teams before pulling himself out of the game. He, according to Robert Sala, felt the knee. Uh, Sala says Becton did not, settle, uh, did not suffer a setback with his knee. He says Becton is still gaining confidence in his knee, but adds that he felt it and came out after seven snaps, but he went back in to block on some special teams. So I don't know. I'm not going to lie. When I hear Becton is feeling the knee, I just, I kind of cringe. I, I don't really want to hear it. He's trying to adjust to his body, a new normal. He's going to have to deal with pain on a consistent basis in some level of, uh, or in some degree. Now, if he's tapping himself out after just seven snaps, when he was supposed to be playing 20 to 25 snaps, that doesn't make me feel good. That definitely leaves me concerned. It's something I'm, I, I think Becton more so than any other player on this roster right now is the player I'm focusing most on in the preseason because there's no greater, you know, burst that the Jets, I don't want to say burst, no greater uh, leap that the Jets could make than having the big ticket actually work out and be either our starting left tackle, starting right tackle, whatever it is. He had a really nice block on the long bomb pass to, who was it, Malik Taylor? I think it was Malik Taylor. On the left-hand side where Zach bombed it up. I, oh, I thought that was going to be a, a touchdown. I was so, <laughs> I got fired up for a second. But Makai Becton can only block who is in front of him. So while I'm saying, okay, number 58, Isaiah Thomas, was a seventh-round pick or sixth-round pick or whatever he was two years ago, remember, Becton doesn't control who's on the other side of him. So him beating his guy, dominating his guy, really, I think there, it wasn't even close for the snaps that he was in on, you can at least check a box. That's how I'm sort of looking at this. If Becton's checking this box little by little and little progression each and every week, maybe next week he plays 15 snaps and he's working his stamina back up and working his, uh, I guess it's his stamina, trying to deal with that pain. Guys, I want to hear from you. How did you feel about Makai Becton last night? Do you think it was a good debut or a good return for the big ticket? Do you think he's going to be able to stay healthy throughout the duration of this season? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, go Jets. Jets!